Hey chatters, I'm Joe. If this is the first time you've arrived in our channel, welcome. I am the creator of the Professor Synapse Prompt. As of recording this, we're very highly rated on the GPT store, have over 100,000 conversations, and for a little while we were actually top five in productivity. In this video, I'm going to go over a major update, or maybe I should say anti-update, for the Professor Synapse prompt. The idea being, as we enter this more agentic world, I want the Professor Synapse prompt to help you achieve your goals by summoning a specific agent tailored to you and helping walk you through the process of the best way to use these large language models. As of recording this, GPT-5 was also just released, which has forced many of us to change our prompts, including me for Professor Synapse. So I've made some major updates to it. We're going to go through how this can summon an agent and help you achieve your goals in a very streamlined and productive way. And then we'll go through the prompt itself, which is open source, so you can take that and do whatever you want with it. The GPT link is in the description, so you can just follow that to find this and then make sure that you are saving it to your sidebar so you don't lose track of it. Let's dive in. And the first thing we're going to want to do is just start the conversation. I have a button here to start, but you can say whatever you want. It's going to introduce itself and you can get started. Right off the bat, it's going to ask you what you're trying to accomplish today. So you don't have to be too specific. It's going to be asking some questions, but we can say something like, I need help creating a project plan for creating and scheduling a video plus social media based on the recent updates to your prompt. Something that us humans are pretty terrible at when interacting with these large language models is this concept of context engineering. We're really bad at giving it the context it needs to successfully create what we're asking it to, which results in really frustrating conversations. So the first thing that the professor is going to do is ask you a few questions to understand the context of what you're trying to do. Don't feel like you have to answer every question, just what you want. And then after we do that, it's going to summon the agent. You can see I've written not very well and not too much, just try to answer questions. And so what it's going to do is it says, okay, I understand what you want. Let me get an expert. And you're going to see here, it's going to give us a little emoji and it's going to introduce itself. I'm an expert in content campaign planning, video first launches. I understand we need to reintroduce this prompt in a beginner friendly way. To achieve this onboarding experience, we'll do some engaging media. I use backwards planning from the launch day, contents, repurposing, and social for scripting frameworks. So let's progress. And here you see it's going to outline a few things that we need to do. You can see here it doesn't actually know the date, which is pretty common. So I probably should have provided that, but that's okay. And then do you want me to now draft the full project plan with detailed timeline? So I'm going to say yes. But today it is 8-12 of schedule round. And so we're going to continue the conversation, but the pattern of the conversation is we're always going to have the professor come in and essentially be like, okay, let me align on this goal, make sure we got it right, and then I'm going to delegate to that agent. And so you see here now the agent's saying here's the project plan. It's putting everything up here in terms of how to schedule my day out and then what to do after. And then it follows up, right, with, okay, what is the next potential step? Do you want to do this or do you want to do that? So you can continue, but obviously you can pivot. So maybe you don't like it in this format with lists and whatever you prefer a table. So I ask it, can you put it in a table? It says certainly. And you can see here it's put us in a table and then it's asking us again for the next steps. One last thing I want to mention about the professor is we have this save command. The idea being that as your conversation continues and gets too long, it's going to get off track inevitably. So that's usually a good point. Instead of necessarily having to start a new conversation, you can just use the save command. And what it's going to do is the professor is going to come in and it's just going to outline everything that we've done so far and what our next step is to hopefully get it back on track. That's it for the Professor Synapse GPT. Let's head into the prompt itself so I can walk you through how this is built. You can find the link to the Professor prompt in the description, but let's walk through it. So first we start off with our mission. So I'm saying you are now Professor Synapse, a wise guide and a summoner of expert agents. You're here to support me in accomplishing my goal. 
by aligning with me, then creating an expert agent, work with me and the agent to progress towards my goals. Then we give us some instructions. Zero, introduce yourself. So that was the intro you had. I like to keep this as stable as possible so that it's showing you our resources, but also it's giving you a question to follow. And then just to make sure it doesn't do anything else, I say stop after, so wait for a user response. Next is the gather context phase. So I'm asking it to step back and just think about what is the relevant information it needs from you in order to accomplish its task. And so this is where it will ask you questions. Next step is summoning the agent. So it's mandated. We want to use some strong language. So it always follows this to use the agent template, which I have here. You can see we're using something called delimiters. Think about this as like ad libs for your prompt. You're more or less asking the LLM to fill in the blank based on the description you have in some sort of bracket. So we have emoji. So assigning is like that emoji. You're an expert in role, specializing in domain. I understand that you need to context and we want to achieve completion. The, what does the complete goal look like? I'll use specific evidence back techniques and relevant frameworks to help in this process. Let's progress toward your goal by following these steps. And then we have three reason steps. And then do you have any feedback? Or are you ready to get started? So every time it summons the agent, it should more or less follow this pattern to summon the agent. Next, we have our conversational pattern. So I want the professor and the agent to follow a pattern in the conversation where I might ask something or say something. The professor is aligning on that goal and then delegating the task to the agent. This is essentially to convert whatever you've put out there into something a little bit cleaner to align on that understanding before assigning it to that agent. And then the agent will respond with an actual response or deliverable, some sort of feedback question, or would you like to proceed to whatever the next step is? This is to help lead you forward and also ask for your feedback. So if it didn't do it the way you like, instead of you getting frustrated, it's asking you like, is this okay? Would you rather me do this? Whatever. And then moving towards progress always. We always wanted to be saying, okay, this is the next step. Are we ready to proceed? And then for gauging satisfaction. So we've gathered the feedback. We've progressed towards the goal. Is it accomplished? Am I satisfied with what we've done? And if not, let's summon a new agent to continue the conversation and pivot so that we can get to where you need to be. And last but not least, I have a few guidelines here. This is the best place for you to take this prompt and really make it your own. For example, I have a use a wise but critical tone challenging the user respectfully. We don't want it to always just be a yes man. Express uncertainty and ask questions for clarification. Always use the emojis to indicate who's speaking. Follow that conversation pattern once the agent is summoned. And keep responses actionable and practical for the user. Remain concise when possible to not overwhelm with text. This is a great place, again, if you have a preference on tone, you want to change the emojis, you want it to always only respond with a couple sentences unless you say otherwise. Whatever it might be, this is where you want to just add your bullet points. That's it for our professor updates. Please try it out. I'm sure it's going to be buggy again with the release of GPT-5. But you can also try this in Claude or in Gemini or your LLM of choice to see how it goes. Definitely go to the GitHub if you're having issues or comments or just leave some feedback. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you're looking to build prompts or work on prompts or build agents or whatever it might be, come to our website, synapticlabs.ai, and reach out to us. We're definitely happy to chat with you.